and he's a, actually a very accomplished voice actor. Yes. Um, and he's great at it, and he's a wonderful director. And uh, yeah, I, 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 he really believes in like, you know, risking the biscuit. As yes, <laughs> risking it for the biscuit. <laughs> Never left Fire Town? Sorry, buddy. Elements don't mix. Ooh. Hey! Plus, my dad would boil you alive. Why does anyone get to tell you what you can do in your life? Well, congratulations on being in a Pixar film. So you can uh, mark that off your uh, bucket list, right? <laughs> yes. Top yeah. thing on my bucket list. I mean, it's not, not it's huge for me. It's like a, kind of a dream come true, to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of beyond a bucket list, I feel like. <laughs> I know. It's like usually people. Uh, later in life, get to be in a Pixar film, but you guys, in your early in your careers, like you're in a Pixar film, like that's cool. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Now, uh, you were even... just like kind of sitting with that idea of just like, oh, like, it's, it's it's when you're in Yeah, it's like, oh, right, that's really cool. It's hard to wrap your mind around. I feel yeah. like even now during press, I'm just starting to wrap my mind around it, but even more so when little kids are like, yeah. <laughs> they say how they felt about it. I'm like, ah! That's the magic of Pixar. Yeah, the movie's not out yet. <laughs> no, but it's some not... kids have seen like yes, reviews and that's stuff. That's true. Yes, yes, yes. But like I'm saying, the movie's not out. We haven't felt like. Oh that, yeah, like, no. Yeah. When it does come out, though, yeah. I feel like the audience's reaction yeah. will definitely lift everything even higher yeah. for me. Uh, oof. Wow. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> He's really sitting <laughs> on that. And I was thinking, the Pixar and Disney films all have this common theme: is like you have to get leave your comfort zone and go out on an adventure, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad you said that because as I was, we just finished our last interview, we had like a 10 minute break, and I was just thinking about directors that I love working with, and they're all, they're, every single one, because I think they're really special. They always take risks. Mm. There's no like, there's nothing great without any like real meaningful risk, and mm -hmm. Pixar puts it on the line every time, and it's so exciting to be a part of that because there's so much passion that goes into it. There's no cut corners available to take when you're taking that much risk. It's a kind of a, a beautiful thing that comes out of it. Mm -hmm. You also never know what you might find at the end of that risk. It takes like an insane amount of courage to, yeah. I guess, yeah, step out of your element. But, <laughs> you know, you, I feel like we're always surprised with what we'll find in a good way. For you guys, what element that speaks to you? Um... I think I definitely resonate with fire and water at the same time. Um, I think fire definitely represents a a bit stronger side of me that's a bit more outward. And yes, I can be not like super explosive, but I definitely don't <laughs> mind being like, ah. but water also represents like a really emotional side of me that, I mean, you see Wade like crying buckets throughout this and I'm like, yep, that's me. But also I'll add earth into it too. I feel like there are parts of me that are very grounded as well. So there's that. He said all of the elements. Except for air. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what is happening? Oh man. Uh, I'm gonna do it too. No, I I like I I love um you know what if I'm being honest. No, fundamentally, when I think back of me like as a kid, like everything, like who I am at the at the core, it's gonna be water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. Water, just the sound of water, the sound of the ocean, it's just so calming, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, is, yeah. Now, I don't know. I saw a clip, but I wasn't sure if it they edited it together. Were you guys in the same room? No. Oh, only, okay. Yeah, we met at D23 last year, and the only time we've ever been in the room together is to promote the film, really. Yeah, that's the real <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. So do you get do you get together and be like, hey, all right, you know, do you get to like um talk about like what you guys did in the project finally? Like, is it weird because you're you're just meeting each other and you're like. Yeah. Actually, did you think no, this and did you think that no because I, I don't know when you watch the film at least for me i feel like you kind of just get it like yeah we like it yeah. feels like it doesn't it this doesn't make a lot of sense and i did watch that video that they just put out and it was like oh that's what it looked like you know seeing everybody and doing their thing but like you feel it all and the effort is there and it just it's all it's all just feels very alive so i didn't i didn't feel like i needed to ask it just felt oh. like very beautiful watching yeah or listening even no, just about a uh, matter of doing things like, hey, was this hard for you? Or, you know, did you get to do this? You know, kind of like that reminiscing. No, I think weirdly enough. No, I feel like when I had Mama do, I was like, I just want to get to know the person behind this amazing voice. <laughs> so it was a lot of that. But I think through promoting the film, we've actually released little tidbits of like 
how our process has been. So, mm -hmm. but I actually kind of like that because in the interviews, it's been very fresh for me to learn what his process is and mm -hmm. just hear how he's interacted with Peter. Cause we both had a very similar, but slightly different experience. Well, that's great because you know, other people are reading the lines with you, right? <laughs> so that's a testament to the directors, whoever, whoever it is. It was Pete, Peter's son. Pete was oh. reading. Yeah. And he's a, actually a very accomplished voice actor. Yes. Um, and he's great at it. And he's a wonderful director. And uh, yeah, I, 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 he really believes in like, you know, risking the biscuit. As yes. <laughs> risking it for the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's cool too is like Peter leads this film with us with such joy and such vulnerability. Yeah. I think he really gave us a platform to be as silly, but as emotional mm -hmm. and as intense as possible too. Like he really let us kind of creatively find our characters as well. And like, it's so rare that you have a director come up to you and be like, I want to use what you already have, but then just kind of play around like that. The idea of play during all of this has been a really big, big note for me. 100%, 100%. Oh. Well, you've opened my eyes about the process because I always think it's really <laughs> hard not having the other actor there, but you know, when you have somebody like Peter Son there, then that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It can be, but yeah. he really wrapped it up for us. Yes, he did. All right. Well, thank you so much. A beautiful, beautiful film. It's literally eye candy. <laughs> yeah, no, the animators <laughs> did something incredible. I can't believe that they were able to do it. Yeah, it's just it's beautiful. <laughs>